Barely six months old, and Singapore's first Panda Cup has already captured the hearts and minds of the residents here. Ever since he made his public debut in December last year, people from all walks of life, young and old, have been lining up to catch a glimpse of Lula in his nursery. Some even queuing up multiple times just to spend a little more time with him. We have arranged for him with furniture and all the play toys, and there's like shorter climbing lock structure inside the play den itself, so he can just strengthen his climbing skills. Under the care of his mother Jia Jia and the keepers, Lula has successfully crossed many milestones. By day 10, we started seeing a little black vest, and then it started to look like a giant panda actually. He was born so tiny, but then all these milestones kind of started happening one after the other. He was born with 200 grams, he's almost six months now, and he's over 12 kilos. So that's a 60-fold increase on, on, on body weight. And he's becoming much more curious, he wants to explore things, he wants to play with things. Lolo was born on 14th August last year, nine years after his parents Kai Kai and Jia Jia arrived in Singapore on loan from China in 2012. Since they were not mature at the time, the first breeding attempt started in 2015. But with giant pandas being notoriously difficult to breed due to a short fertility window once a year, it took seven attempts for Jia Jia to finally conceive. The birth of Lele is a result of extensive collaboration between the Singapore team and the panda experts in China. The minute we were approved as, as a partner for the conservation and breeding of the giant pandas, the first thing to do was actually to send some of our staff to China to learn because obviously we never cared for them. When Lula was born, we sent them videos of the actual birth and they helped us also to determine the sex of the baby when it was really, really tiny. And, and uh, we were sending them videos every hour actually in the first couple of days because that was the most critical period. The team at Mandai says that giant panda cubs in the wild are considered independent at two years of age, and that's when they leave their mothers. So unfortunately for Singaporeans, when Le Le turns two, he will be sent back to China and join the country's panda breeding program.